Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying this so far. And let's get going. I need to think what I'm doing today. That's interesting. The cannons even have rusted. I did not notice that. Alright, um, yeah. Gerudo Town is back to normal. Let's see what side quests I can grab. Wait, you're a vote? No way. Sound the alarm, guards. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's absolutely adorable when you panic. You know, we don't get many, uh, any vote customers. Okay, so they, they joke about it now. Would you consider helping with my spa pra plan practice? Uh. Alright, sure. <laughs> Until noon. Massage. <laughs> that, that popping. Are we going to acknowledge the popping sound? Jesus. <laughs> the glow of the blood -stained moon Zelda's angry. Upon the land. Link got a massage and the blood moon rises. <laughs> it's like it's like Link got a massage and now she's she's just threatening to bring the blood moon upon the world. <laughs> okay. They didn't really do anything for my stamina, though. I need to find the clothing store. Open at Karakara Bazaar. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Okay, I'm gonna have to blow this up. It's fine. That stick was never gonna last. I need a new Korok stick, which, yeah, I guess we can do this. Uh, hold on. Destroy fused material. I mean, how many weapons do I have to waste? Okay, where is he? Let's just go around in a circle. Okay, hang on. What was the point of this? This might be directly under something, so let's see. 
if we look at the plan above. This is a spot. Hi there. Client list check, products check. Hmm? A vote, but the door is blocked. How did you? Never mind. It's not our rule to pry into the business of our customers. You're welcome to our shop no matter how you manage to get inside. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, the only shop in town that sells clothing designed with Vo in mind. Considering Vo aren't allowed in the town, I'm sure you can understand why the shop is a secret. Anyway, that's how we run our business. We're not concerned with who you are. As an outcast myself, I appreciate your business. Sava, sava. Okay. Sava, sava. Elsewhere, it might be Savota or Savak, but always it's Sava, sava. Oh. Okay. Oh. Everything we sell is of the finest quality. I'm sure you'll be satisfied. Oh. 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 Okay. What are these? Oh, they're... Sand boots. Okay, we want, we want everything from here, clearly. Gonna have to sell more of these. <laughs> I think if I leave myself ten, it should be fine. Snow boots oh. now. Oh. Alright, cool. I got everything. Oh. That's the reason why it's blocked. <laughs> Just, there we go. I'm sure that's gone now permanently. There's a place out in the desert with huge statues that are all facing each other. Have any of your customers ever mentioned seeing something like that while they're surfing the dunes? Hmm. Hard to say. The desert has its share of statues and ruins, and of course the upheaval really changed things too. Do you have any more information to go on, like a map or something? Uh. I did have one, but the wind caught it and blew it off to who knows where. I know for sure that it's in the eastern part of the desert. Like I said, few statues face each other. It helps know it's in the east, but, well, the desert is really, really big. Ah, customer. Sorry, I need to get back to work. If you figure out where you need to go, come back and see me. I'll be happy to rent a sand seal to you for your trip. The ruins. Okay. Oh, we know where that is. I wonder if, uh... The melons are gonna make a comeback. The vote in jail. Huh? You know that vote that's locked up in the jail down in the shelter? Oh. Yeah, the one that used the sand trout to try and sneak into town. What about him? 
Well, I thought I heard someone say Arklet when I was standing by the shelf in the canteen down there. Huh? I've heard Arklet before. I think that's the name of Perda's Ver... 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 You know, the jail is just on the other side of that wall. The wall behind the shelf, I mean. Oh. That reminds me of something I heard back when Perda came back to town with little Arklet in tow. Didn't the guards mention they'd seen her wandering outside the town around then? Mm -hmm. That has to be who it is. Okay. Okay. Let me offer you something. The first drink is on the house. From Vevi to Fava. A drink, please. Give me a second here. You can get a drink. Sorry for the wait. Oh, you can make the noble pursuit here. Mm. It took some serious work, but I'm really proud of the special version of the noble pursuit I came up with. I was inspired when I heard that a new vial was going to be coming to town. <laughs> the drink is full of all the vitamins and minerals you need to take on, and a harsh does a day. It'll really boost your energy. If you like it, by all means, come back and get some more. Oh, but only the first one is free. I'll be happy to make another one for you in future. It'll cost 20 rupees. It's not bad. What was that recipe on the wall? Salt, cold mushroom, butter, rice. Okay. It's like a risotto. I think there's reference to the person that was eating melons up here last time. It's a cool shield. First things first. <laughs> Alright. Reju's stronger. Now, I guess whatever I find will go to Unovo. I made the right choice in saving it. Okay, the jail. Where is this jail? chilling in here. Why am I allowed in here? There's got to be a reason I'm allowed in here. Let's check through here. What on earth is... Oh, this is the jail. Hey, buddy. What? How long have you been in here? Wait, I recognize you. I've seen you walking around out there. I don't understand. You're a man, but they let you just come and go whenever you like? It's no secret that the Gerudo rigidly enforce their law that forbids men from entering the town. So how come you're able to just walk around without causing a fuss, I mean? I barely crossed the threshold between town and desert and they threw me in jail faster than I could say. No, wait, not jail! They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. 
I just wanted to see the faces of my wife, Perda, and our daughter, Arklet. Ugh. But... And I'm only telling you this because you seem like the trustworthy sort. I've actually seen my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Even though they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. I know she was planning to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I've got. I'm sure my daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Perda and Arklet. I know we'll be together again soon. Okay, so we need to find Perda. Can't I just bust them out? No. What? How'd you get in there? That's obviously a jail cell, not a place for visitors. Only prisoners are supposed to be in there, like that Vo who tried to get into town. But you're the chief's guest, aren't you? The fact that you got in there on purpose or by accident without me knowing would be embarrassing, so... Get out here before anyone sees you, come on. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I guess we gotta go find further distractions. Uh. What? What do you want? Um. Oh, it's her. Uh, I'm I'm busy right now. Okay. I need to make sure the bow of my dreams hears my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus the positive energy or put the bottles in the water while this guy's loitering around? Uh. Get out of here, Scram. She's the melon eater. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear god, no. Okay, uh, it's this quest again. Must ensure the safety of this bottle. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't as big a pain in the ass as it was before. this. Put the bottle down. Okay, it does go somewhere. I just want to make sure it doesn't get damaged or something. Put it go. What? Oh god damn it, it's, there's just a core up here and nothing else. Yeah. Okay, I need to get back down there. this for <laughs> to 
She's not dropping it again, what? Are you gonna are you gonna drop the bottle in or what? There we go. Okay. This quest sucked because <laughs> the bottle kept despawning. Awesome, so it's fine. I should just let it be. quests. I can't believe they put it back in. I was looking for her because I was thinking she was going to be throwing fruit scraps somewhere, but this is worse. what I think it is. Okay, so this is the end of the line. Who's above this? This is still in the town, so I don't get it. Hot air balloon. Nothing else, really. Okay, I'm gonna just have a full exploration of that underground thing and see what the intent here is. It's not a quest either, like she's not handing a quest. Guess that's the thing to keep in mind. It leads me to the Korok, which it might just 
be that and nothing else. Where is here? We're in someone's house. I mean, I don't see a quest, so... Huh. Shh, not so loud. If you're too loud, the guards might find us. Plus, it makes it hard to hear the voices coming from below. Something about a secret. I was hearing these voices during the sand shroud. Could they be the calls of the brave Garuda who fell to these monsters? Bozai. Could be Bozai. How do we take one of these bottles to Bozai? Let's try. You're the last fate of me. I am the Vaya destined for. I am locked away from the outside world. Don't worry. That I will send all my love to you until you come find me. up one level now. This goes down.
This is such a massive effort. But okay. going to attach this so I can take it up even further. How far up is it? It's pretty high up. before. Okay, for now. This is so dumb. I got no leads, though. As dumb as this is. Christ. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Is it moving? No, okay. There you go. I thought it might have been you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go uh, show this to everyone. I have the bottle upside now, so I, I could go around just talking to every dude.
Go on, pick it up. I shower it. I'm gonna shower the bottle. I just need to be careful not to. Okay. I'm. I'm the dream. Look. It's you at long last. You, the Vi, reading this letter, are the Vi I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I'm locked away from the outlets. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Mm. I told you it was Biddy. We're part of Get Out of Here. Wait a minute. Huh? That bottle. Why do you have that bottle? If you got it, that means that, that you must be. You have to be. Ah, I can't wait any longer. Tell me. Tell me you are the one I know you to be. Wait, don't say anything yet. I am not ready for all that the outside world holds. I still haven't mastered all the lessons from Vo and you class or the old cooking class. You can wait a little longer for our love to fully bloom, can't you? Of course you can. Okay, that's settled. Now I need to get cracking on all there is to do. First, to the cooking pot. Oh my god. Okay, so I mean... Oh, I see what I needed to do now. That thing that was there, I needed to... To just lift it up and, yeah, pull it by the rope and pull it out. But I, yeah, I mean, this is just because... I confused this with, uh... The Breath of the Wild version of this quest, which is you have to follow the bottle. But in this quest... In this quest, you just have to return the bottle. So I just went through that process of taking the bottle out. Last 10 minutes were a waste of time. That's, that's it. That's the long story short. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? How's things? How's your week been? This was a waste of time, but let's see. What are you going to make for me? Oh, my darling, you have the most perfect timing. I'm experimenting with the recipe for a creamy heart soup as we speak. Just add a vault fruit, a hydromelon, and fresh milk. Oh, and of course, it wouldn't be complete without the spiritual core of the dish, a hearty radish. Then we stew. If you just wait a minute, it'll be ready. This seems like a good recipe. Oh. Oh, no. Huh? Oh, maybe monster guts aren't a, a great secret ingredient. Oh. But I'm sure even when the results aren't perfect, my darling will be happy. Will happily eat anything I make for him. This is really packed full of my love. <sighs> I ate it. I would make this meal over and over again, but I've been having my trouble getting my hands on that one key ingredient. The hearty radish. However, for you, my darling, I will search far and wide until I find more. Just be patient. Okay, I will eat anything anyone makes for me. But I will also give feedback if something is... Is like... Okay. Like that? Where it's dubious at best. I'll be like, listen, I really appreciate the effort. Thank you for making me this, but I gotta tell you, like, yeah, this this needs improvement, and why? Not bad, apart from the Cloud of Doom. Cloud of Doom? There's a Cloud of Doom where you are? Um, yeah, I'm doing alright. Just kicking back after a busy week. 
got a long weekend, which I did not realize. Uh, so that's nice. Okay. I just finished this area, well, the temple thing yesterday, so I'm just grabbing stuff at the moment. From wildfires. Oh, right. I was, I was talking to a friend about that, though. Just air quality is not great. Well, perfect excuse to stay inside and just <laughs> play games or watch stuff. Okay, so these orbs are everywhere. I'm gonna take- I'm going to take photos of these. As to where they are. Because no doubt, I'll have to put them all together at some point. Yeah, when, um, before the pandemic hit, like, we're talking 2020, a large amount of Australia was on fire, and the air quality here for one day was the worst on the planet, and I just remember having to go to work, so. Just, yeah, just felt sick afterwards. It was not great. But it was kind of crazy. It looked kind of apocalyptic. It was the sun was out, but you could not see it at all. Everything just like smelt like uh, like when something's on fire. Man, did not see twenty twenty coming. S started the year with. The country being on fire, and then it's like, oh wow, that was bad. Good thing that's over. <laughs> and then pandemic. I haven't seen any other quests to grab. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I should be wearing the mask. Um. I was also going to probably play Donkey Kong after this. I'm not sure. I have it set up in front of me, but we'll see. I did go shopping and also get the, the damn pancake mix, because I've been reminded about it so many times. I almost walked out of the shop without it and just at the last minute just did a double take. It's like, wait. Yeah, well, we'll see. Depends how long I play this for. Okay. Alright, so it's most likely up the waterfall. Depends who turns up, because I know multiple people wanted to see it, so...
What? Where is this thing? So we've established it's not... It's not below, it's somewhere above here. You got a PM from Nintendo, they told you I need to give my Switch a rest. <laughs> Funny how they would message you about me. Do you have an uncle that works on Nintendo, is that it? The classic uncle that works at Nintendo. No, my uncle John Nintendo told me that if you push the truck behind the SSN, that you can catch Mew. He showed me. Where is this thing? <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, but that's a different one, then. Is it this? Oh, maybe this might be it. This might be it. Let's see. Oh, there's no children here. I haven't been playing this for an hour, so it's not it's not enough time to say, okay, that's a good time to leave it. Like I feel like a VOD should be at least an hour and a half. I think that was the one I was looking for. Oh no, I <laughs> see the car. Okay, well. So let's go pay a visit to the, uh, to the inappropriate fairy. <sighs> it's okay. I wear headphones so no neighbors can make complaints. <laughs> uh. That's just in reference to the dude that uh, got a letter from his landlord saying a neighbor complained about inappropriate sounds coming from his apartment. And then... It clicked that he had been playing Zelda. And the noises the neighbors were hearing were the Great Fairy when he went to mass upgrade his gear. So. I don't know. At that point, I feel like it's easy to just say you were watching porn. I don't know. And that it won't happen again. Oh shit, the light dragon. Okay, where is the... Uh... It shouldn't disappear, but I'll keep an eye on where it's going. <laughs> it's this one, it's specifically this one. Mm. This is the one that makes the weirdest sounds. Ah. Uh. But I want that set bonus. Ah. Mm. Ah. 
Mm. Enough time to finish the morning exercise. Well, have fun. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna be sitting in a chair. Yep. I'm gonna be exercising my mind solving problems. Yeah, that. That's it. Uh... Okay, hang on. Let's just do this. I need to go murder more ice Lizalfos, which... I could probably do that pretty quickly. <laughs> Joker stream. I don't have the flexibility to do that stuff. I mean, I can put my hands behind my back and stretch that way. I'm at least flexible enough to do that. But beyond that, I'm just so uncoordinated. Uh, uh. Uh, I guess upgrade boots. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I hear this sound, I just picture some neighbor somewhere just hearing this shit. Uh. Just going, oh no, they're at it again. I swear, that's it. I'm going to write a complaint. To the landlord. I'm tired of hearing this dude just. The loud sex sounds that are coming from his apartment. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> That's neat, they're all kinda. They're waiting for me to be done. Okay, Light Dragon, where are you? I'm watching you go across the sky. Um. Okay, it is currently above there. Okay, so teleport to the shrine, and in theory, I should be able to catch a ride. Okay, it's over there. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, this might be boring for a little bit, but I need to do it. Okay. Do I, uh, how do you do it? Decrease. There we go. I can catch up to it. I need to eat just a couple of these. Just to ensure that I get over it. That should be good enough. Landing. Okay. There we go. We're on.
I don't see any. So the hardest one to grab will be the claw. and easy. Alright, now we, we chill on the derpy dragon for the next 10 minutes. I don't know if it has fangs, but I'll try. I know this is going to be boring, but it's just so I can upgrade the tunic. Because it is, it is pretty strong. I guess I can also use this to spot out stuff. It'll let me learn its, uh, its flap. It looks like it goes horizontally across the screen. I think I can see what, what it does now. Kind of. Wait, how many horns do I have? Two. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to shoot it in the mouth and stay on it. But at the very least, I mean, I did get a horn out of it for free, so that's the main thing. Claw. I don't think either of these two are going to be easy to pull off. Yeah, I mean, to get a claw, I'm going to have to pretty much hop off it. Because I'm not sure you can get in a position where you can hang off the arm and grab it the moment it's ready. Anyway, it'll be super obvious when it's time to uh, shoot it again. But 
for now. Just chill. Take a ride. <laughs> Free Uber ride. Well, I got to I got to learn how it travels as well. Oh, okay. So it looks like it goes like that. Oh yeah, I mean, it was holding the Master Sword the whole time, so... It is a special dragon. I don't know, it just has a derpy face. I think Fang is required before Claw, I might be wrong. Or maybe Claw is required. Okay, hang on. Maybe I should look this up. This is not so much a spoiler. BOTK Champions Tunic Upgrade. Let's see. The upgrade. Okay, second upgrade is Talon, then Fang. Horn is last, so, okay. Oh no, yeah, the eyes, that's the part that makes it look derpy. But I think it's, it's just... No, but I guess not, because we saw it from a distance when I got the Master Sword, and my thought was just, no, this thing just looks extremely derpy. I don't know why. the shield. Should be in a minute that this is ready to shoot again. I mean, it's nice that you can ride them and just farm them this way. Especially that the scale and the horn are just easy to get. You just kind of shoot and grab it immediately. Um, I have to do that with Din at some point. You know, while this is doing this, I'm going to grab a beverage out of the fridge. So give me a minute. Or like about 30 seconds. It's not going to take long. Not this pineapple watermelon drink. That's pretty good, so. I got one of those. Oh, it's a... Okay. I think I see the path it's ultimately going to take. It's going to go around here, bro. And go up like this. I think it just goes around the perimeter of the entire world by the looks of it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Change of clothes. There we go. Dress appropriately. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just, just waiting. I do like the look of this shield, though. Maybe it's because the eyes have eyelashes. Maybe that's why the eyes creep me out a bit. Almost like it's wearing makeup, but not really. Because it's a different kind of yellow. Like, this is a more neutral yellow. If it matched, if it matched that yellow, like the color of the fur, I don't think it would creep me out. But it's just the fact that it's like this fluorescent... It's like a... Almost like a cheese yellow. <laughs> it's... American cheese yellow. I think that's part of the reason why they... It just... It looks strange. I just expect it to have a voice like, Oh, gosh! I'm going to talk like this. Such a slow and derpy voice. Link. You hit me with an arrow. I can give you a scale. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Now you're gonna watch my YouTube videos at 0.25 the speed. <laughs> no. I can only imagine what some of the sounds I make would would sound like at that speed. There we go. Alright, it's coming back. Okay. Uh, I have to get a claw first. Ah! Don't know! Okay. The claw, I feel like, is more annoying. Hey, 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 hey. The claw is way more annoying than it used to be. I don't know where it went. There it went. All right, I, I just have to go for it. It's unfortunate, but yeah. Oh my god. Alright, there it is. Alright, look, it's fine. Uh, where are we anyway? We're over here. I want to find out about the guy's daughter, because now that we're in the Gerudo Valley... His daughter's there. We haven't run into her, so I just want to remind myself um, where she went, because it's been a while.
been a while since I've been back here. While I'm here... Oh, yeah, right, listen. <laughs> I forgot about this. Um, now look. Some people found this funny. One person really did not like this on YouTube, so to that person I say, I'm sorry. But not really sorry. Uh, we don't have any... Wait, do you have a monster in mind? That's what I want to know. A battle talus. Also house. Maybe it's a fort. Okay, so I need to find the battle talus. That's fine. I want to talk about your daughter. I've got to admit, I'm feeling pretty inspired. Oh, he's not even talking about his daughter anymore. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Honestly. Oh, good lord. Oh, they're using that? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, cool, we got a house. That's great. I can't always be here to witness this, so... Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think I need to stand it up of a post. Son and done. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway. Uh, a house, you say? Oh. With Matheson off on her little own adventure, it looks like I can resume working on dream homes. Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or a fully furnished room. Or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you'd like to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what's all of our customers truly enjoy, which is the opportunity to assemble all of these individual rooms on their own. Pick the rooms you want and then you can put together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate Starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all your help with Matteson. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of th saying suck, so, you know, thank you. Okay. Ah. You're interested in a dream home, that's great. There is a vacant plot in a prime location, I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinarily, the land would cost 3,000 rupees. But as a special for you, I can offer a land rooms combination deal for 1,500. All right. <laughs> We're glad to have you as a customer. We can get started right away. As I mentioned, we already have a prime plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southeast from here and it has an excellent view. Where? Mm. Could be a little tough to spot in the weather, but there's a shrine over in that direction. Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with him for more details. All right. <laughs> Hope you enjoy building your ideal home. So look. Uh... I guess they're not talking about their daughter anymore. Maybe there is no... They said she was going to learn stuff over there. Maybe I'll I'll run into her, but... They're not really providing details on where she is, so... Okay. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Got to remember. Wait, there's one here? Where's your friend? Oh, he's facing the ocean. Okay. We're going for a drive. I'm so proud of this. That looks cool. Yeah, this is this is my best device. It handles really well. It has room for the Korok. And it's just four wheels and then the thing at the back. It's like a mini tractor. I know you were asking a while ago about suggestions of stuff that I've made. That was cool and I didn't have anything to show but now this is, this is the answer. This is the best thing I've designed. I'm just gonna move it down here now. Came by complete accident as well. It's almost as good as the motorcycle in Breath of the Wild. There we go. Cool. You can put headlights on it as well and drive in the underground. So I've been using that as well. I'm good. Uh, it's so it's not that quick uphill, but it works. Here we go. Hello, you must be Link. I am Grantison, Grantason, of Hudson Construction. Ronson told me about you. I'm here to answer all your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, if I could direct your attention this way. Ah. This is the plot of land you purchased. If you place the rooms we sell here, well... Ah. You're on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Oh. Let's see, it looks like your contract includes two rooms. Mm. Excellent, two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One... What's this? 
I'm sorry, I was going to prepare rooms for you in this space, but, well, there's something there already. Maybe... <laughs> oh, you mean my little mini tractor? Okay. I'll put my car away. There we go. Two rooms. One moment, please. Mm. And these are the rooms. The one on the left is a foyer, the one on the right is a bedroom. They are covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry, we'll remove them once the construction is complete. Ah. All you need to do is place both of the rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms so they fit within the rope boundaries. One more thing, you can only place rooms in the roped off area. Please remove any items, okay. Ah. With that, please thoroughly enjoy building- oh. <laughs> No shit. Well, I mean... It only makes sense to do this, right? Oh, we're going, we're going, like, weird, right off the bat. <laughs> yes. Double story, like, I want a bedroom with a view, look at that, that's a nice view. In fact, should really be like this. Does this go over the rope area? I want a bedroom with a view, like this view here. Oh, look at that. That's a nice view. I want to see how functional this is. I'm done building. Are they going to say that, no, this is wrong? How are you going to deal with my request of this, sir? Uh, I, I'm curious. Ah. Didn't find any problems. You're free to go inside. <laughs> okay, your dream home is complete. So congratulations. I'll call Ron Snow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Sorry for the way. How are things going? Hope you're happy with your investment. Of course, this is the only the first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> I hope you continue to explore building your dream home. Variety of room options. Speak with Grantison if you want to know. This isn't much, but a little gift to celebrate your dream home. Construction fabric. Mm. I'll be by your side for as long as it takes to build the home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look inside the rooms you place? So how do they deal with this? I guess the answer is they don't. Okay, see. <laughs> oh no. I mean, okay. So like, here's the here's the problem. There's no wall here or windows. It's kind of just open. So, I mean, the the intent behind this, I see this now, is that they really want you to connect these two rooms together. So. Uh, yeah. I love how the dude's like, I don't see any problem. I don't see any problems with this. This is fine. So people can see me just sleep here. I mean, I've heard of open plan, but this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it looks so stupid. But it's my house. Hey! Where's my tractor? It's gone. It despawned. I, I love this part. 
<laughs> just open a door and then it's, it's just this. Uh, Alright. Well, let's check out the other rooms while we're here. I wanted to be creative. I was curious as to how it was going to deal with it. It, it. The answer is it didn't. Once again, congratulations on having that construction project done. I hope my introduction to the whole process was clear enough. Okay. Maybe you'd like your house to have more of the comforts of a home, or maybe some convenient features. Mm. If you want to give any of that a try, don't tarry, just talk to Grantison, that's me. At Hudson Construction, we offer a variety of customization options. Just buy a room and remodel right away. New rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview your options so you don't make the whole choice. So you don't make the- wait. You can preview your options so you make the choice that's right for you, geez. Now then, do you have a construction request? Yeah, like an actual wall. Convenient features. This is almost very... Ah. <sighs> like, it's almost accurate of the way houses are built now. It's like, oh, what's that? You wanted a wall? Nah, that's an extra $20,000 for that wall. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Well, I need more rooms. I'll buy a preview of rooms. Oh, ooh. That's cool. Do we have step? Ah, oh. Oh, wow. This is full on. But they're outdoor stairs, and that's the thing as indoor stairs. Oh no, there they are. Okay. Alright, alright, I, I see, I see where it's going. That's the, so that's what I need to purchase for this to make sense. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Mm. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Alright. Yeah, I know where I can get a little bit more money. <laughs> I have a photo to turn in at Kakariko, so I'll do that. Maybe this won't be so dumb. That one piece will make it make sense. I need to get a trophy room set up though, like set up uh, bows and all that, because I want to put the swords away, the ones that I have, the decorative ones, so I definitely need to get that room. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Skip, skip the original text. My understanding of ancient Hyrulean isn't perfect, but I know a ghost story when I see one. It's a first-hand account of a ghostly or maybe corpse-like woman who appeared each night looking just like their Zelda. No matter the era, it seems people can't resist sharing a good ghost story. A bit like how there have been eyewitness accounts of our Princess Zelda in the newspaper, even though she's missing. Could our Zelda be a ghost too? No, of course not. There's no such thing. As a believer in science, I should know better than to suggest such things. Please forget I said anything. Thank you, Link. I haven't bought, forgotten about your reward. Alright, eh, yeah. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Land, we have four tablets left to find. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. Mm. Oh. Uh, what am I gonna sell? 
something that I have a lot of. <laughs> Man. That's stuff that I've picked up a lot of. I have six... No, three of these. They're worth 60. What else? Yeah, I mean... Every little bit counts. <laughs> these are worth two, so I got 200 if I sell like 100 of them. Which I'm okay at doing. <laughs> these I have not been using at all, so... Fifty. <laughs> All these. <laughs> One hundred and thirty one of these. I mean. That should, I think that should do. That's a good enough budget. Okay. Now it makes sense why... Why this is here. I was wondering why it wasn't directly on Tarrytown. Now it makes sense. Include a wall, I'm gonna take a wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's not allowed, apparently. All right, let's get building. Yeah. Oh. Mm. You can only use 15. Oh. I just noticed that as well. Okay, we want a stairs. <laughs> ah. But that's so weird. It says there's 15 in stock, and yet... Alright, whatever. You can only put 15 items. Um, we want a weapon stand room, definitely. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I need to put these swords away. What? What did you do to my hat? Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, okay, this is fine. 
Yeah, I don't know why there's a limit, but I guess we'll find out. I think this will look nice. It's just a shame that you can't pick where windows are gonna go, at least not yet. But okay, this is less egregious and more functional. It's it's so dumb. Maybe it's it's a limitation. Okay. But at the very least, okay, so now this should be something I can walk through. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. No, I love how it figured that out on its own. It's a secret bedroom. <laughs> There's only only Link can get in here. Okay, but at the very least, at the very least, I've been wanting to put these away, so I'm I'm happy that I can put these away, because these are. Dear to my heart, these weapons. That's a bit weird. But how are you supposed- I mean, how are you supposed to put rooms together? Like, let's say I put this. It's- it's strange. I thought it would have figured to make an opening there, but it didn't, so I don't know. But now, look, I, I don't have more money to spend. The- the important thing is, on the outside it looks fine. It's just, on the inside, it's- it's a bit of a mess, and you know what? I think... I think that's- that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, uh, that's enough of a distraction. I thought it would be a little more clever. It's okay. Well, I looked around the town. Oh, that's the cooking for success. I forgot where the school is. There is a school somewhere here. So my ooh, that looks good. Um Take the butter. I can't just take their butter and oil. Uh. 
What? Uh, at last we can finally see the sky again. I'm not going to miss the sand shroud one bit. I've heard all there is to hear about what happened. You were involved, weren't you? The chief must have foreseen what was going to happen early on. That would explain why she invited you here. She was only a Vevi when I was in charge of protecting her predecessor. But some time between then and now, she grew into the best fire among us all. It looks like maybe, just maybe, this old soldier might just be able to finally relax. Looking around, seeing where the school is. I mean, this is a... what the... F what have they drawn? Is that supposed to be Link? <laughs> Wait a minute. What are they what are they drawn here? Is that supposed to be Link and the uh, Huh. Let's take a look. Is it Reju? I think it is. <laughs> I just say Hey, Lalo, how's it going, dude? Wow, oh, there's like, what is this? What is this room? I'm not sure whose rooms that this is. got to be some joke about everyone just liking Link. People falling in love with Link. Yeah, I don't know. I've had a look around. I don't see... Mattison anywhere. Alright, well, we're heading out into the desert, I think. Shock damage resist, okay. That'll be useful for when fighting, um, the... the Gleox. It's a good set to have. Uh, but for now, we have to wear this. Good, I can actually see stuff now. Okay, Korok. Oh, here it is. This is something I was going to do anyway, so that's fine. This looks like a ramp. Like there's something locked in here. Where? Where'd you go? Okay. 
Okay, what does it want me to do? Oh, yeah. I also have... These. Oh. I wonder if this is going to work. Okay, I, I, I see what it's trying to get me to do. I acknowledge that. I need a steering wheel, but I can I can make that happen on my own. Right, there's a chest down there. It's fake. It's knock the rock. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> sort of. Oh, all right, all right, it works, it works. Moldega. No, there's no Moldega this time. Okay. The book. Ooh. I've heard about you, the vote who fought alongside our soldiers, right? This is a training area for Gerudo warriors. The harsh program here requires stamina, willpower, and smarts across the desert. Welcome to the starting line for the desert race. I'm here to oversee the desert race and give any advice to the challenges. Up until now, only Gerudo warriors were allowed to undergo training in th this rough. <laughs> but since you've already proven yourself in battle, we'll make an exception for you. 10 rupees per attempt. All right. Very well. From now on, soldier, you're at my mercy. Hope you're ready because I'm going to run you ragged. But first, some ground rules. In the desert race, you must pass through seven arches around the desert before reaching the goal. The desert is hard on a runner. You shouldn't hesitate to think Ooh. of whatever advantages. If you stray too far, of course, or cross the finish line without passing through the arches, you fail. Time limit of 3.30. Uh. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, do you need to run? I would assume run. This would be cheating, wouldn't it? The said use any advantage. This is an advantage. Instead of running, I'm driving. It counts. I bet, I bet they're gonna say I cheated. Do that. Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to do this by foot. What's the next arch? Down there. Okay. Hey! have a minute to get through this. see if I get called a cheater. Well done, soldier! Come back here so we can go over the results. Do I get to keep my vehicle? Ooh. Your time was 3.14. Hey, not bad. The desert race is a struggle between your body's limits and the harsh desert environment. Even among us Gerudo soldiers, there aren't many who can finish the race. That was a beautiful run. Here, eat this. Should, ki should help you cool off. A Hydra melon. Now that you've finished the run, you should aim to beat the Gerudo Soldier record of 230. No thanks. How would I... Two minutes 30. I would imagine I would have to make a vehicle that just really pushes through the sand quickly.
I'll think about it. I think I have a few ideas. Drifting flame. They give me a torch. Okay. Well, I mean, I got space for a torch. What do they mean by drifting flame? Time for cheese. Didn't that? What the fuck? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Ah. <laughs> what? Uh, I think I may have done something the game did not like. Button is glitched. Damn it, I thought I was being clever. What if I do that? Okay, that's fine. We'll do, we'll do that. Okay. Now it should be straightforward. I found that amusing.
I mean, we're getting there. But, I mean, if I, look, if I look at this... I would need another 20 shrines to get the heart container to max. I'm not sure if the math adds up. Okay, now I gotta swap. For the time being, do that. You can take the Korok mask just off. Okay, I must design a machine. And I think I know how to do this. The design a great transport vehicle. Why it stopped moving, please? Going to say before I invest, but okay. It needs it needs more more power. Uh, that's much better. Steering is a bit harder, but it it definitely travels around quicker. Oh. Oh. Two thirty. All right. Got to beat it by a whole minute. I think they want you to take the sand seal. But this is already this is already working. Smashing the record. This will give it time to recharge. I'm gonna commit 
I've saved it anyway. This is a little clench. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Record smashed. Well done, soldier. Come back here so we can go over the results. Your time was 2.16. 2.16?! I've never seen anyone do better than Captain Teak. But the Chief did speak highly of you. A promise is a promise. Here's something... ...to mark you getting the fastest time. Okay. As of today, you've graduated from a mere trainee soldier. Come again if you want to test your limits. You're welcome anytime. Um... Yeah, well, we lost our... A cool device, but that's fine. It worked. Ah, uh, level there. Alright, I'm headed to... ...the skeleton. I definitely want to get all the fruit I can here. <laughs> okay, I didn't really... I just want to head to the Leviathan, and there's a shrine over there as well. So, do it all at once. The skeletons over there. Wait, no, never mind. That's the temple. It's over this way. There's a cave over here. I think this is where the Leviathan used to be. I think it got buried. Yeah.
Okay, that's a tail part. I see it. <laughs> Damn. I got it down. Ha. All right, let's fix this thing. This looks like it's a good cave for bombs. That was stupid. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting there. Okay, take a look at this fossil. Doesn't it look like kind of a child? Child? Yeah. I mean, just look at it. Do you think? The little one could be the bigger Leviathan's child. I mean, it's hard to tell from the skull, but looks pretty similar to me. Extremely similar, in fact. Uh. Just imagine the fossils of the parent and child Leviathan side by side. Could the child's body and tail s still be somewhere nearby? I hope so. I've traveled far. I just can't go home without seeing them together intact. I'll pay any price. Explain why there's so many bombs.
Sure. Alright, now the tail. Where is tail? There's also a Korok hidden somewhere. Archaeology with bombs. I mean, the bones look like they're sturdy enough. It's fine. We see that this species of uh, whatever it is is able to uh, survive explosions. Where is this Korok, though? I swear I saw the tail part. Oh no, there it is. It's with the sand. There we go. Yeah, that looks about right. Ah, I knew it. The fossil was a baby leviathan after all. Just look at them. You can totally see the family resemblance. Oh, I can just picture the two of them swimming through the ancient oceans, and then they just die suddenly to become skeletons. You put the baby leviathan fossil back together for me, didn't you? It's so darling, I can hardly stand it. Here, take this as a reward before I lose my mind. <laughs> my, my life is complete. Visiting Elden, Hebra, and Garuda regions, meeting all... My cute little leviathans, and this parent-child combo may be the cutest of all. I just want to stay with this adorable leviathan fossil family forever. Okay, now to the matter at hand. Where is this Korok? Hmm. <laughs> it's probably a balloon target in a sneaky spot. I'll just take a guess. That didn't work. There it is. Okay. We're done with the cave. Hopefully my vehicle did not get removed outside, but it probably did.
I would say this is my only complaint of this, is just... The vehicle's disappearing. Is that a shrine? No. There's one feather along. to that red marker. Like a base. Hi. Hi. Okay, I see. Well, wow. all right, here we go. Do I even have to do this? I don't think I do. No, <laughs> it's just, just ignore them, just straight in. I could spend time fighting them or, or we could just go do the thing. Chillin took one of them out though, I could hear it. Ah. Barbarian Link again. Yeah. Lore. What is this? Tried playing this yesterday and made you rage. <laughs> really? I can't say I've seen anything. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see what that's going to do. The main thing is I want those balls constantly dropping. I'm going to be adventurous, y'all. Yeah. Why aren't they dropping anymore? Let's see what happened. Ah, the crate destroyed. Okay, hang on. Well, not destroyed, just moved. Ah! 
Oh point. shit. Alright, so much for the crate strategy. Pretty much done here. It worked. It's okay. Don't worry too much about that. That's relatively harmless. Using to lap, I mean, maybe if it's there afterwards. Oh, straightforward. Yeah, it's still here. Okay, uh... This isn't technically a pot. There we go. I mean, eh, it's mediocre. That is not bad, though. I just got a... Yep. <laughs> and I... Uh, makes that little ball just seem like nothing. I gotta say, the rewards in this are a lot better than what they were in Breath of the Wild. They are worthwhile now. I think that's another heart now. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about overall here, like, we could go down semantics and talk about the worst item, and then be like, well, yeah, it's not great. I think overall it's still better. General statement. Is there anything else I need to do here? There's a campfire over there. Oh, Mulduga. Yeah, I'll beat it.
What have I got? Eh, let's use this up. Shit, it's cold now. I haven't played Breath of the Wild. Well, trust me when I say this, the rewards in Breath of the Wild were bad. To the point where I just would not bother opening chests. Because I knew they were just anticlimactic and dumb. At least here I have incentive to look at chests and what they have. Am I hearing a... No, that's not good. We got, we got company. I forgot to take a photo of it again. Damn it. Domok Duga, it's gone. Oh. You, did you get rid of the Molduga? I can't believe you are able to defeat it. You must be incredibly strong. I never dreamed I'd run into a Vo like you all the way out here. This must be fake, don't you agree? Oh, I'm Isha. I run the jewelry shop in Gerudo Town. I came all the way out here to try and find some special things to add to jewelry, but before I knew it, I somehow wandered right into that Mulduga's territory. If you hadn't shown up, I'd have been at lunch. Since you saved me, I'll give you a fitting reward. This might come in as a surprise, but I'm actually the Gerudo's best blacksmith. If you come visit my shop in Gerudo Town, there is something special that I can craft for you. Oh wait, he's a foe, so you can't even get into town, huh? But if you could beat that monster, I bet. I can feel fate's pull between us. I'm sure we'll meet again. Alright, I'm going to head back to town now that I don't have a Mulduga to worry about. Savok. It's going to be the champion's weapon, most likely. Uh, oh there. It's okay, it ran away. Sort of. That's cool. Mulduga Hammer. I just, yeah, I mean, that conversation, it's like, oh, that's right, I forgot about our hundreds of years of tradition. So. Let's 
see me tapping the bottom. Uh, no reason. I guess context is before this I played Breath of the Wild where stamina was more of an issue because I only had one wheel, so... I'd do this. I guess it's like a force of habit. Because I wasn't about to do the stupid sprint whistle glitch thing, because... I mean, I like my hands. I don't want to hurt my hands in pain. <laughs> do the claw grip thing, so... I don't know. If you see me doing something, it's probably just reason is because I want to. No particular reason. Ah, oh, it's a shit. I mean, I don't see anything else in this area anyway. I think we're done for now. You're wondering if you can learn something new. Nope. <laughs> I am not about, like, uh, sweaty speedrunning technologies or anything like that. Unless it's something painfully obvious. It's always casual here. Yeah? Oh, well, that's something. Painfully obvious for one is a secret training for the other. That's true. There are a couple of things that I thought were obvious in Breath of the Wild, and some people weren't aware of it, so... It's like, the, just the use of octa balloons. There was one trend in particular where people were saying it was a pain in the ass, and I was like, what do you mean? It's easy. And then when they saw how I did it, uh, they were like, are you kidding me? I spent like 20 minutes doing this, and all, all you had to do was that. It wasn't even cheese, it's just... They're octo balloons. It wasn't skipping anything in particular. Oh, crap. Who is that? That's Feroche. Uh... I need to go there, I need to go there. Uh, tower, now. Yeah, I mean, in Breath of the Wild, I would use octo balloons and then stasis to freeze it in meta and then hit it... So then that would send it flying. But also use octa balloons to lift up like crates or platforms. Um, so then I would effectively skip parts of certain shrines. But I mean, it's, it's nowhere near the stuff that speedrunners do. Speedrunners use bombs to just yeet themselves across half the map. So I'm not to that level. There's also... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to ride this dragon. I'm going to get a couple of horns out of it at least. So this might be boring. Just saying.
Is that another one? Another one. It's tempting me to get off it, but no. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, we're on the dragon. Alright, hit the dragon. There we go, easy. Alright, now I'll run along its body and collect. And I'll chill here for a bit. Ah! Oh wait, this is just a picture of Feroche. Yeah, okay. Scale isn't a thing, but I hadn't... ...grabbed the picture yet. So hitting the spines on those gifts, girl. Never tried fusing it to a shield. Ah. Uh, well, what's the fuse power on them? I mean, I guess it would just make a weapon with that value. It would probably just be whatever element it is. So Ferocious would be dragon, electric. And the other one would be ice and then fire. I'm not sure what the light scale one would do. But I think it would be equivalent to... Well, I guess you haven't played Breath of the Wild, but... There were elemental blades in Breath of the Wild. So I'd assume... Uh-oh. It's just the equivalent of that, so it may be a bit more robust. Uh, we're good, we have a club. Alright. Yeah? Okay, we're safe. Cool. No, we're not. Okay, now it's... Is this just a dragon or is this me? Hang on. What, what have I got equipped? Wood? Oh, no, it's the bow. It's the bow. It's the bow. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's the bow. I saw some clip of a dude that got on, on a horse and started moving quickly and then was like, are you serious? When you ride a horse quickly in the rain, it makes you get struck by lightning? It's like, no, you dickhead. You're wearing something metallic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, killed me. <laughs> Just not, not aware of uh, their surroundings. Just because two things happen at the same time doesn't mean there's a correlation between them. Yeah, no, horses are lightning rods, that's basically it. This is purely for the, uh, the fierce deity set. See, I don't think this dragon looks derpy at all. There's just something about the light dragon that just makes it look derpy. This dragon doesn't look derpy at all. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wait. The, the time required... It's kind of a pain tracking these dragons down. And it just means I can have a good uh, boss fighting set after this. If 
I get on his nose, he might look derpy. Maybe. I mean, I'm... Ooh, it's, it's kind of hard to stay there. The horn is a bit awkward. It's okay. I appreciate that you can do this and you don't have to do the farming thing. You can just... Well, I guess this is farming, but it's just... It's five minutes of uh, in-game time. Yeah, I mean, I can, you can all, I mean, the positive about this is you can kind of see the paths they take relative to one another. So, I mean, the light dragon goes around the perimeter of the map. So, I figured out it goes like that. So, I know the light dragon's path. Well, to be honest, I was kind of like wrapping up today in Zelda anyway. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've done most of what I wanted to do. I was going to play Donkey Kong after this. It's not the worst thing I've had to sit and wait for. I played a whole lot of games simultaneously. Yeah. Variety's good. Plus, if you're not into one thing, you might be into the next. But, uh... This was, like, requested a few times, so... Figured I'd start doing it. I already played the first one. I'm not. I'm up to the second one, which I haven't played before. So that's gonna be fun. I already know the reputation of the game. It's it's a great game. Just can be difficult. If this was Din, I'd be able to upgrade the set already. So they all seem to do this curvy pattern, by the looks of it. Oh yeah, see there's something I haven't looked into. There's like a storm above this. I mean, maybe later. Well, I don't want anything bad to happen, so let's do shock damage resist. I'm just going to wait for the horn to light up again, and I think that's, that's fine. I'll settle for two horns. So I don't want to... I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes. <laughs> if, I, if this was me off stream, I would pretty much start watching an episode or two or something. And then every now and then just check the dragon, shoot the dragon, and then go back to watching stuff. Tried going in there, but you don't have as many sets. I mean, I would go in there without any sets. Just make some food. Whatever problem is up there, I'm sure you can overcome it with food. Or weapon swapping. But la 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 la. Don't know what's up there. I'll I'll find out when I get there. I don't wanna know.
Alright, it's, it's almost done. Wait, is this glowing already? No. Okay. I mean, it's painfully obvious. I don't know why I ask. Oh! I think this is the next memory I have to get. Okay, it's over there. Hang on. It's over there. Well, there you go. Right? I'm pretty sure this is the next one. If I look at my list, it's like sort of like the one that looks like a jewel. Uh, hold on. One, two, three, four. It's the one. Oh, no, it's the sword one. Okay. And then it's the one at... Okay, that one's second last, but at least I've ascertained where it is. Okay. So we're after the sword one, which I already know where that is. That's fine. I might just go get that memory. I already know where it is. May as well. On the topic of Laurelin. looked like I could hit it already. I was periodically trying before. And then we're up to date on the memories. Then I can continue it. Yeah, so that one's second last. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yep, it's active now. It's active. Uh... I can't... Hang on. I'll look this up. Fierce... Deity set upgrades. I want to see what's required to upgrade each, so let's just see. Uh, but, 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 but. Okay, so. Ferocious Scale, Ferocious Claw, Ferocious Fang. Horn is last, and it's only one. The Mask needs Din. Okay, so then, I already got what I need for the Horn. So let me just have a look. This is a, so the boots are, f are for Farosh. Um, what tier are the boots? I think I already passed it. Where is it? There. I have not upgraded the boots yet. So to get the boot, I need the scale. After the scale, it's claw, and then fang, and then horn. Alright, so I just need to shoot it here, and we're done. There we go. Alright, we can get off it now. And then I'll just let's go to Laurelin and get the memory. All right, I checked, and I think it's the same order for each of them. So it's scale, claw, fang, horn. I think that's easy to remember. Body, arm, and then face, head. I got the memory. No, that one's... I'm supposed to get that one later. I didn't forget it. That one comes second last, because otherwise I'm getting them out of order. I did not forget anything. This is the next one in line, according to what I'm up to. I, I marked it on the map where it is, so when I do need to go get it, it's like... It's marked. I don't know. One of these stars is the memory. Yeah, I'm watching them all in order, otherwise it doesn't make sense.
Whenever I come across them, I just mark them on the map if I'm not up to them. Then, when it comes time to go get it, it's cool. I know exactly the spot I need to walk to to get it. Like here. Hey, Colorin. How's it going? Alright. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can piece it together. It's just I oh, personally I want to do them in order. You are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. Wow. Uh, evil Zelda. Oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is such a stupid face. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> oh my god, that's just as bad as the stupid... The stupid fucking... The next scene, how everything goes to shit, and then Zelda pulls out a fucking Nintendo Switch to save the day. Like, come on, man. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. We're good. It's up to date. <laughs> that face can be an emote. That's just... Uh, I, I want to remove the stamp. Please. Stamp. Go. No. There we go. <laughs> oh man, that was so dumb. Okay. <laughs> I want a thumbnail later. Chat. I want a thumbnail for the video later, so hold on. I think you all know what the thumbnail's gonna be. Can I fast forward? No. All right, Zelda. Okay, I've, I got my finger on the button. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? Sorry. <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> Oh my, I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your- Next memory, no, 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 I'm gonna play Donkey Kong. 
I just want a screenshot of that Ganon face. For purposes. <laughs> And that's the thing here, they don't really... The sound effect it makes, it almost sounds like she got punched in the back, but not stabbed. You kind of assume she got stabbed, but they don't show enough to kind of... After all, it, I guess it has to be suitable enough for kids, right? Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Your Majesty! Queen Sonia! Oh no! Queen Sonia! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more thing and then we'll, we'll play some Donkey Kong. Since I did go to the effort of farming the first deity scale required for the boots, I'm just gonna do the upgrade real quick. How can I hate that face? I'm not hating on that, I just I find it funny. No hate here. Uh, how many of these do I have? Okay, I have another four, so I can get another heart as well. Take like this very seriously anymore. Uh. Mm. Uh, where are the boots? First 80 boots. Wait, what's missing? Claw? Did I get li Did I get lied to and get. L I saw the Breath of the Wild shit instead? God damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Right, I am up to the claw. Shit. Oh, well, whatever. Nah. It's not like having a scale is useless. Um, I can use it in cooking to make, like, a half-hour buff or something. It'll probably be a half hour attack buff at the end. I guess it's fine, because I have to come here to find out what's going on anyway, so... Getting there. What? 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 
Okay, I'm gonna leave it here, chat. Uh, we're gonna take a small intermission. And then we're gonna play some Donkey Kong. I just need to set it up because I gotta plug stuff in and whatnot. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is the part where I say bye YouTube and hope you did enjoy today's uh, playthrough of this. And yeah, consider buttons that are at your disposal for algorithm purposes. Or something along those lines. <laughs>